Hey guys, what's going on? Gravender here. Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of the teams. They're going to work out pretty well for Alliance Quest post the next update. Which I know most of you guys probably already know about. Well, not most of you guys. Probably everybody already knows about it. I didn't make a video on it. Okay, let's get into it. I, I didn't make a video because every single video that I've seen was just completely negative on it already. So that's that's the uh, the pulse of the community. Everyone was, was mad, everybody's complaining, everyone was, was claiming that uh, this was bait and switch. But, honestly it's not. It's not bait and switch. This kind of stuff happens with MMOs all the time. It really does, and that's why I didn't make a video on it, because of the fact that, well... I don't feel the same way as everybody else does about it. I really don't. I've been playing MMOs for years. I've been playing them since like 2004. I've been playing MMOs. Things happen inside of games like Contest of Champions where you get these good buffs and then they get taken away from you. I remember at one point in time in Star Wars The Old Republic where the... Uh, the, the class that I played, which was Bounty Hunter, the entire makeup of Bounty Hunter was flipped on its lid. It was completely flipped all up and down. And it didn't matter if the fact that you'd been playing it for six, seven months, you had to readjust and figure out how to play with the new style. So, honestly, it doesn't surprise me. It really doesn't. Because things change. And with the fact that Map 6 was going to be coming out soon, I kind of figured this kind of stuff was going to happen. Um, perfect Block was... Well, not Perfect Block. Essentially, Perfect Block is not what they're taking out of this game. Block Proficiency. I know everybody refers to them as Perfect Block Teams, but they're not really Perfect Block Teams. They're Block Proficiency Teams. So with leadership gone, now we've got that out of the way, we are going to need some new teams to take in to Alliance Quest. Because you're not going to have the same kind of synergy buffs. I mean, honestly, even without leadership, a Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange, Captain America team of either kind, uh, World War II pretty much uh, seals the deal for you. But that team's still going to work pretty well. But given going into map 6, things are going to change. We're going to have a Spider-Man as the mini-boss. Who is going to be infinitely harder than, all, than Unstoppable Colossus in my opinion. And Kang is going to be the main boss. So it's not, it's not Venom. It's going to be kind of like going back to Ultron, where the uh, the moves flew across the screen. Ultron's moves go across the screen, so it's a little bit harder to avoid. His L, his his L2 is basically the same as Spider-Man's, if you, if you really put it in the context. They're the same move, essentially, with a little bit of difference at the very end. But they, they both, they shoot, and then they come at you. So that's avoidable if you can you can avoid the first two hits of it. But let's let's get right into it. I have come up with a lot of pretty good teams, mostly centered around Black Widow because I feel like Black Widow is one of those characters that is going to be essential for taking down Spider-Man. Other characters will be able to do it too, but Black Widow is the absolute best for it. First up on my list of Black Widow Daredevil, and Elektra. Now the reason I went with this team is because it's got a 15% power gain and 25% crit damage. And, this is key, especially if Kang's L1 or L2 is unblockable. If he gets an unblockable L1 and L2 in this coming event, Daredevil is going to be key to that. Because no matter if it's unblockable or not, a awakened Daredevil 
has the possibility to evade projectiles and that is what Kang's moves are going to be they're both projectiles mine is at 99 so he is at 100% with with acute sensory perception more attuned than even Spider-Man Daredevil evades projectiles with a 100% chance so he's going to if if it's unblockable Daredevil's going to probably be your best bet of going up against Kang I like the team though I do I like this team a lot the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that they're all skill so let's move on into the next team. So next up on my list here, I have Black Widow, Hulk, and Hawkeye. Now I like this team. Like I said, we're going to be getting into Black Widow teams for, for the most part. Because Black Widow is going to be your essential character for Spider-Man. Hulk, Hulk's a good character. He just doesn't do a lot of damage unless he's taking damage himself. Hawkeye I like because of the fact that he is still going to be able to power drain your opponents and he has the potential to make them bleed as well. But this team boasts a 5% power gain, 25% stun chance with specials. So if you hit an L1, an L2, or an L3, there's a possibility you're going to stun them. And 12% armor. So let's move into the next one. Okay guys, so here is the next team. We have Black Widow. War Machine, Hawkeye, and we're just, we don't even pay attention to that other little blip there. That is leadership. It is going to be gone. But this team boasts 5% power gain and a 5% perfect block chance. Perfect block's not going anywhere. Perfect block is still in the game. We're going to have that. But what I like about this team is if you don't like Hawkeye, you can actually interchange Hawkeye for Winter Soldier. And you get the same exact buffs. You get the 5% power gain and the 5% perfect block chance. Nothing goes away. And both Awakened, Hawkeye, and Winter Soldier do power drain abilities. And they both do bleed abilities. The only difference is I think Winter Soldier's L2 kicks a lot harder. But Hawkeye, if he's Awakened, actually has hemorrhage which gives you the possibility of being able to bleed your opponent more. So it's really a toss-up. I like both characters. I think both characters are really awesome. It doesn't matter which one you go with. Those two are entertain interchangeable on this whole spectrum of things. And now we're going to be getting into our last Black Widow team. And for this team, we have Black Widow, Thor, Jane Foster, and Captain Marvel. Now, I know on paper these don't look like the best in the world, and especially with the synergy bonuses, they only get a 12% synergy bonus. But here's the key fact for, for the whole thing for me. Jane Foster Thor actually has the possibility to stun the opponents. She gives a shock, and then as long as they have that shock on them, there is the potential for her to stun the opponent. Now, the stun's not very long, but it could come in handy in some clutch moments. Black Widow hits like a Mack truck. She's going to be good against Spider-Man. Talked about that earlier. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is clutch in just about any fight. I love Captain Marvel. You can, you can literally defeat somebody in a matter of seconds with Captain Marvel if you have the power bar built up on her. That's, that's the big thing. Key thing is... You want her to be awakened because as her power bar increases as she's awakened, so does her attack. Love it. Energy absorption. Attack is increased by up to 74% based on stored power. In addition, blocking partially absorbs energy-based attacks, fueling Captain Marvel's power meter. I love Captain Marvel. I do love her. Absolutely. Now, let's move on into another set of teams that I used to play with a lot whenever Alliance Quest first started out. So this next team that we have on our list is Daredevil, Superior Iron Man, and Captain America. The original one in the game, not World War II. Because this team boasts 50% crit damage and 14% crit rate. They are absolutely a beast team. 
Daredevil because he evades projectiles. He has his stun on his L1 and L2 abilities. And he's just a beast all around. Superior Iron Man, if you can knock off an L2, does a lot of damage. And if you find yourself in a pinch, he heals. If you have him awakened. Captain America, the shield's not going anywhere. And it offers a percentage-based chance that you're going to get reduced damage. So I, I, I like Captain America a lot as well. That's another good team. Love that team. Let's move on into the next sets. So next up on the list, this is this team and the next team are really heavy for stuns. I love Black Bolt because Black Bolt, you can get like two combos off on him whenever he stuns. So that's the big key thing here. Ronin, it depends on if the character is going to have any kind of buffs on him or not. My four star wouldn't get any kind of buffs off of it because he's not awakened. But if you have an awakened one, he would be beast in this aspect. This team boasts 5% attack, 50% crit damage, and 7% crit rate. So these guys are pretty awesome in my opinion. Hulk, don't only use him whenever you absolutely have to. But as far as stuns go, Black Bolt and Ronin will kill just from the stuns alone. So it's it's just that's just the way it is. Like they are absolutely awesome as a team. Now we're gonna switch this group up just a little bit. And we're gonna throw in Doctor Strange, which I know is probably more of a uh, key player for a lot of people. So we've got Black Bolt, Ronin, and Doctor Strange. Now this team we don't get as much out of it. We still get the five percent attack. Crit damage percentage is dropped to 25, and we lose our 7% crit rate altogether, but we pick up a 5% perfect block chance. Now, what I like about this team, even with its uh, disadvantages as far as the synergy bonuses go, compared to the other one is, you actually get Doctor Strange on the team. So, you get him in his healing phase, you can heal up. So... You have a power hitter who can heal in Doctor Strange. And you have two stun titans in Black Bolt and Ronin. I, the teams to me, these teams to me just don't get any better as far as all this, this whole new versions of Alliance Quests are going to be going. Let's take a look at the last and final team that I've come up with you guys. Okay, so now the last team that I have came up with is Colossus, Storm, and Magic. This team boosts a 10% health and 12% armor. Armor and perfect block chance are going to be key moving forward in a lot of these things now. If you're not the best in the world at uh, dodging attacks and parrying and all that other good stuff, uh, this is going to be key to this kind of stuff. Colossus has a huge amount of health he has armor he has armor up if he's awakened i use colossus sometimes in alliance quests as it is anyway colossus is absolutely a beast storm hits like a mac truck plain and simple storm is an excellent excellent champion love her to death she's that's why she's at rank five magic not only is Magic now more of a beast since the updates that they did to her, but she was a beast before that. People just didn't like to play with her for some reason. I enjoy Magic quite a bit. Just because of the fact that we can lock... We can lock specials out with an L2 and the L1 power drains, as well as does damage. So it's... I don't see why magic doesn't get played as much as she does, honestly. But, alright guys, so that is going to be it for this episode. Hopefully this helped you guys out some. If it didn't, get out there and look at the teams. There are tons of synergy teams in this game that will work really well for Alliance Quest. I didn't go into all of them. There's tons more. This is just a few because, I mean, I don't want to keep you guys here all day long going over every single team. But, 
hopefully this will be able to help you guys as far as Alliance Quest goes moving on in to the post leadership era of Contest of Champions and hopefully it'll do some good towards uh, getting you guys along in Alliance Quest maybe these are teams you guys can use in Alliance Wars I don't know just give it a chance guys see what you like if you enjoyed this video please leave a like on it if you want to leave a comment comment in the comment section below usually I try to get to the comments guys if this is your first time watching my channel please consider leaving a sub on it I really want to grow this this community that we have even bigger than it is now but as always guys remember to like share comment subscribe we'll catch you guys in the next one later Cause we scream, fight, hate